Okay, so I don't really have a very wild testimony like, oh, I've been this person. Well, yeah, I, I was, I had my heart somewhere else before. Like when we're children, we grow into a adolescent teenagers, we grow into young adults, then we grow into middle-aged adults, and then we grow into old people. And yeah, that's the same with in the spirit. At first you're a baby saint and um, in the spirits you have growing to do. All, all the other stuff that um, God and Jesus teach us, those are spiritual maturity things. It's not the gospel of salvation. And also the, the whole Bible, it's about him and not about us. Okay. So. <laughs> sorry. Okay, so. My, my testimony, uh, when I came to know the Lord, I, I know that, um, I, I was talking way too much on this, and I just didn't know where to begin, but before, like, yeah, I felt very mixed up, like, I felt, I had a different gospel preached to me last year, well, just basically by false teachers here on YouTube, but you know what, I just, I figured out they were wrong, the Bible showed me, and, all right, so here, here I am to explain uh, why I am theist and not Christian. So I'll tell you the story like why I decided to become Christian in the first place years ago and then why I dropped the Christian label and I guess, I, I guess you can say I just I stopped being Christian for this reason. And nope, I have not turned my back on God. I did not stop believing in God and Jesus. And I still do believe in the gospel of salvation from Jesus and the gospel of Jesus and um, the whole Bible. Yes, I believe in God. I believe in Jesus. And I believe in the whole Bible, not just cherry picking parts of it, the whole Bible. I'm very happy I read the whole Bible uh, for a second time. And yes, third time I'm reading the Bible. And yes, I'm very happy about that. So, um, I be the reason why I became Christian in the first place, uh, back when I was, uh, 16, I think, 15 or 16 at the time, uh, was, um, so I really liked Christian music, like all the music that I was just singing just now. Uh, Brit Nicole, Toby Mac, Chris Tomlin, Jamie Grace, etc. Yeah, I just really like Christian music because I thought it sounded good and it sounded very catchy and, uh, yeah. And I just, I thought Christian mega churches were really cool the way they have a very cool band, like you're at a concert and stuff and, yeah, the whole worship scene there and, yeah, I... And all the fun events they have and stuff. Yeah, I just thought Christian mega churches were really cool, and that was the only reason I ever became Christian at the time. But then, um, what? I th I thought I got saved at 15, but I take it not because I think um, when I was 15, like uh, I really uh, did not know if I was going to heaven. Well, because before that, before I ever converted to a Christian, um, I used to be Catholic. Yeah, it all started with religion. And I think when I was 11, that was when I learned some Bible, like um, the Joshua verse, have I not commanded you to be strong and courageous? Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged for the Lord. You're gone will be with you wherever you go and yeah there were a couple of songs that mentioned bible verse and that's how i got to learn some bible and of course the story of jesus is is very popular like about how he was born from a virgin and uh yeah the story of mary and joseph and him being born on christmas day yeah the 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 nat nativity story which is popular and um I used to think I used to think uh it was God the Father that was um on the cross because you know we Catholics we like have those symbols around sometimes and uh Our Lady of Guadalupe but you know Our Lady of Guadalupe is a false god it's just an image statue that's 
no one tells you about and uh, not not everyone that has that um, is Catholic but I, I don't really know why they have it I guess because they see it like as a mediator and yeah I used to think like that was God the Father on, on that cross but no it was not because God the Father um, is not the one that can be seen uh, it was actually uh, Jesus, but I didn't know that because when I was a kid, I only knew Jesus like uh, like the baby that was born on Christmas, but I didn't know that uh, that was his flesh um, on, on the cross until I was 11 or 10. That was when I learned that that was him. And yeah, him with the crown of thorns. And so when I was 11, I went to some program at my Catholic church along with other kids. And yeah, through um, a, a few songs and dances that they played, uh, yeah, that's where I like got to learn some Bible verses. I already mentioned the Joshua verse and um, also about Jesus being the only way. That um, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through him. And the Amazing Grace song. And I don't I don't think it was the, the song uh Thankful. You guys know that song, uh Thankful by uh Tree Some Something. Um I keep forgetting I keep forgetting names and stuff, but yeah, it, it went it went like this. I like to think about the goodness of the Lord. He gives me everything I needed so much more. So I just want to live my life and say that I love him. I just want to live my life in praise. And I want to be thankful. I want to be grateful. I want to remember everything that the Lord has done. I want to be thankful. I want to be grateful. I want to be, I want to be thankful. Sorry guys, I, I didn't exercise my voice and I didn't drink much water. So yeah, I get a tickly throat sometimes. <coughs> also, some, somebody sprayed stuff in here. So yeah, that's why my voice uh, di didn't sound very exercised today, but that's all right. But great song, great song. It's very uplifting. So, yeah, at the time I learned some Bible, but yeah, and except I, I didn't read the Bible, just very bit parts of it. And I think when I was uh, 13, um, I became like First Communion or Confirmed Catholic, something like that. And yeah, then when I was 15, I, I was no longer a Catholic. I think I did go to a Catholic church sometimes or... Or maybe when I was 17, I was like when I just officially no longer became a Catholic. I never went to the Catholic church, not ever again. I uh, went to the Baptist church and I, I only like learned half the gospel, but I guess um, I didn't learn the gospel at that time like I thought I did. But this was what I learned, that to go to heaven, it's not about being good. It's not about going to church every Sunday. Um, it's not about having morals and what else? Yeah. I, oh, and philosophy and religion. Yeah. Th those, um, yeah, that's not like how you come up to God and yeah, do, doing works and stuff like, yeah, that's not the gospel. And that's part of the thing I learned, but I didn't like learn, uh, like the rest of the gospel of salvation. Or actually not the gospel of salvation at all but then when I was 18 a friend of mine in college like finally told me like how do I know I'm really saved uh, I just kept thinking uh, it's Jesus Jesus is the only way or and Jesus died for our sins well I, I they said that I was missing something right there and then I asked my friend how do you know you're really saved and it was, it's not that Jesus just died for our sins. He rose again on the third day. It's Romans 10, 9 shows us how we know we are forgiven. If, if we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in our hearts that God raised him from the dead, 
thou shalt be saved. So yeah, Jesus didn't just die for our sins. He um, was buried and rose again on the third day. So he is alive and living inside us, God's children. So that that's how I uh, came to know the Lord. So yeah, when I was 18, I, I got saved and um, let's see. I, I read um, a little bit of the of the Bible like when I was 18, only because my friend told me to, but not like I was passionate about it at that time. I read the book of John and the other three Johns and um, for the rest of the time, I, uh, I didn't read the Bible at all. So my times at Bible studies weren't going too great because I kind of had no idea what they were talking about like on the paper questions because uh, yeah I didn't read my Bible during college because uh, I was more worried about school but then after I graduated college and was thinking like I had my own plans I used to think I wanted to be a massage therapist but then I realized that that's that's not God's plan for me so I never went to school again. I like went to go look for my, my God given purpose. And in 2019, after I graduated college, that's when I started reading the whole Bible in, in a year. And yeah, I was the best decision of my life. I'm grateful for that chance the Lord has given me. So anyways, that's my story of when I came to know the Lord. Okay. I'll, I'll get to other parts of the stories um, in, in another video, but so anyways, I, I hope you enjoy this video, I, and peace out.